Um, I decided when Amy asked me to do this to think about mathematical voice. Um, I decided that one of the strengths I have is I have a voice, and I like having a voice, and wanted to talk about what a voice sounds like to a teacher. Um, I think most teachers do have styles. Their own students recognize their styles. Their kids are insecure when they change their styles. Um, my style is fast, think, to the point. Um, I like to give choice. I like to evoke divergence. I like to make you wonder about things, and I feel that that emerges in the questions I ask. Wow, I'm faster than five minutes. Okay. Um, here are two questions. You're just going to look at them. I'm not reading them to you. First one, do it. Second one, think about it. Who is me? Don't say, just look. First one, I put some pattern blocks on part of a book. I ask how many pattern blocks for the whole book. Number two is cover your desk with pattern blocks, count them, tell me. The question at the top is which do you like better? Secretly, it's which do I like better? Um, the first one says, how would you sort these shapes? The second one is who doesn't belong? Aren't you impressed? All right. Um, first one is do it. Second one is think about it. First one is think about it. Second one is do it. This is probably the least wordy ignite ever. First one is think about it. Second one is do it. You decide which one is think about it and which one is do it. You decide which one is think about it and which one is do it. And I'm going to start to set you up because there's a piece of paper on your chair which is going to be a contest. And in a few minutes, you're going to have 45 seconds to create a slide that sounds like me. Um, here you go. Um, one of them is do it. One of them is think about it. Yeah, don't look at your paper too much yet. All right. One of them is think about it, one of them is do it. I didn't tell you which was which, but you're going to start knowing that soon you're going to have to finish one of my questions to sound good. First, one of them is think about it, one of them is do it. Not telling you again which is which. So you're supposed to be hearing a voice, and hopefully the voice is emerging. So here's your task. Pick one of those stems, finish it to sound like a think about it. Ideally, I'm going to like it because I'm judging the contest, and I'm going to let one of you win, and whoever wins, we're going to have a 30-minute consult about your math teaching, and we'll just have lots of private chat to talk about. So I really will take your papers. I will really judge it. When you're all done, when I'm done, you're going to take your papers and push them to the left and they're going to be picked up. And I swear to you, I will judge. Make sure your email's on your paper and I will absolutely contact you. And if I like three of them, I'll get three calls. So keep thinking about which, how you want to finish that question. I'm going to talk about that I believe every teacher in Ontario needs to create a teacher voice. Their voice shouldn't sound like a textbook. Their voice should sound like a teacher who you want to hear. And so I believe some of our teachers sound a little too much like textbooks. I think we need student voices, and I don't want to hear the voice, I can't do it too hard, go away. I want to hear the voice that, but I thought you should do this, or like, this really looks like interesting, or I think I want to do it this way, but what if? So to make all that positive voice happen for kids or teachers, we need to be less directed. It could mean open questions. I kind of know what those are, but not always. 
um, there is always room for interpretation, discussion, perspective. And I am done, my five minutes. You can stay doing your contest.